a journey getting back to Monterey. We had to pull over to take a nap because we were just exhausted. <laughs> Big shout out to Five Hour Energy Drink for keeping us awake. We are about to enter into 17 Mile Road and it's been a while since we've been here and I'm excited to get back in. We are headed up to the Gooding Auction to check out some of the cars up there. Go visit my buddy Mike who shoots for them. Um, I haven't seen him in a minute so it'll be all good and reunion like and awesome and chilly and cold and amazing. Verone! You know I love you baby. Thanks for the media pass. <laughs> Alright we are officially in. Cal. We're on 17 mile road buddy. Look at all these cars. Where are these people going? They're leaving. This is the beautiful 17 mile road leading to Pebble Beach. Woo! All right guys, we finally made it to the entrance of the Gooding & Co. tent. And we're about to meet my buddy Mike, who's gonna give us a pass to get inside and check out all the fabulous cars that are on the auction block. See you, <laughs> see you. My wife with this, of course. Hi, nice to meet you. Everyone is geared up. <laughs> Come in, put that on. So thanks, Mike. So Mike, you, you said you shot this F40, where at? Yeah, it's a track called the M1 Concourse, just outside of Detroit. Dude, how long how long did you have to shoot this F40? On the track, we had about 20 minutes. Oh. <laughs> so it was like very run and gun. And I needed to get a couple rolling shots while we did that. Yeah. You know, this car was actually really clean. And McLaren was doing testing there, and all of McLaren stopped to watch us do this F40 shoot. Oh my god. <laughs> How many people are on set when you guys are doing a shoot like this? Uh, probably four or five. Um, not a huge amount of people usually, unless I'm shooting with lights. Got it. So, oh, here's your roof. Oh man, there you go, right there. BTR. We'll get to that over there in just a little bit. All right, boys and girls, so check this out. <laughs> Mike and I have known each other for quite a bit. Um, last time I was up in Carmel was in 2005 when I met Mike through our friend Blair. And it was a long time ago. And now, after 13 years, here we are back again. And now Mike works for Gooding & Co. And he shot a lot of the photos in the catalog you guys just saw. And um, you know, it's awesome. You know, he gets to, you, you've been traveling a lot then. I travel, I fly maybe 100 times a year, so. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. What's your favorite place been so far? Uh, for work, I actually like Florida. I like spending time in Miami. Not during the summer though. Because of, really just because it's very vacation-esque or? Vacation-esque. Um, there's great locations just like around every corner. And the water's always warm. So it's nice. Dude. <laughs> Anyways, it's so awesome to catch up with Mike, you know, um, but we're gonna go around check out some of the awesome cars here plus 911s and whatnot So thank you Mike for uh, Allowing everybody to come check out the uh, show. So. <laughs> yeah, man. It's good to see you Based on the 993 turbo, but it's a narrow body uh, I think it's, I mean, You might know more about it than I do. I think it's like a single big turbo Yeah, back then they did a lot of that stuff, huh? Just let the turbo come on strong and yeah, and they want it as a narrow body to make keep it like agile. Yeah, yeah All right, so those of you guys that know me know me to be obsessed with the f40 and here I am Let's see if I can open this door real quick Oh my god, I just opened the door of an f40 Not the greatest of interiors, but look at this. Look at the carbon. So they just started the F40. I was like, what's happening here? Yeah, it's very terrible. All the way down. Yeah, oh, I remember. I drove it like two years ago. It's terrible. But it looks good. And once it's moving, I was like, okay, I can work with this. So according to the odometer, this thing's got a thousand miles. All right, 
This will probably cost your entire life. This one has 13,000 miles. The original sticker right here. Yeah. <laughs> Porsche and Audi. This was $10,000. This was $10,765 back in the day. Here is a 1994 964 RS America. They evaluate this at $150,000 to $180,000 because it only has 5,000 miles on it. Okay. I guess that's about right. All right, one of the holy holies of 964s is this 965 Turbo 3.6. Look at this thing, beautiful, 6,000 miles. Just look at this thing, will you? Just look at this. With these speed lines, hello. Let's take a look inside. Right there, 6,500 miles. Woo. This is what a, basically a new car looks like right here. Very nice. Take a look at this 1956 Mercedes Gullwing 300 SL. It's kind of in original shape and it looks kind of beat. But no matter because 1.1 to 1.3 million dollars. That's what that gets you, buddy. All right, so we got a 95 Porsche 993 GT2. This one is estimated to sell between $400,000 and $600,000. You guys need a racetrack and got a half a million dollars? There you go. Very pretty 1977 Targa right here. Can't see the interior of course, no polarizer. Good job Drew. Very nice color. Let's see if we can get some interior shots. Wow, this is a 1965 Porsche 911, estimated to sell at two hundred fifty to three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Looks like it's been gutted and added. And looks like it's got a cage. A 1973 911 RS 2.7 Touring, and this one's estimated to sell at 700 to 800 thousand bucks. Looks pristine, paint looks amazing. Let's check out the rear. Very nice. That's how many miles this car has. 57,923. Didn't even know it was a Porsche. You know what I mean? So the very last minute, we ended up doing the, the crest. You know, yeah. the last minute we got the Porsche lettering on the wing. Oh, nice. Just so it looks a little bit more, not as clear. All right, so here we have the 1994 Roof VTR2. This one's gonna go for 700 to 900,000. And this has the 18 inch roof wheels. And this is a 993. And I am running low on batteries. Let's take a look inside real quick. It's got the roof uh, dials. 
super tall shifter. Very nice. All right, guys, that's a wrap of the Gooding Auction. Thank you, Mike, for the invite, for showing us around. So beautiful inside, the lights have been amazing. But now it is time for us to leave, and we are headed to, I don't know, dinner? Uh, Cal, say hi. Did you have fun today? Yes-ish. <laughs> yes Yes-ish. Yes. Working is hard, bro. Looking at cars is not easy. <laughs> Anyways, we are about to head out and go see what the night has for us. But we'll see you guys on the next episode. So see you later! No big deal, just building my future house right here. My future villa, I'm sorry. Now, if you guys never have been up to Carmel, this is one of the most awesome things about this area. It's 70 mile road and the coastal line up here. If you guys listen quietly, you can hear the seals barking. Probably can't hear it, but they're out there in the distance barking over there somewhere. There you go. Last time me and my wife were up here, we saw that over there when we're, I don't know if we're married yet, but maybe we're no, just, we're not, married. we're not married yet apparently. And we saw that gnome house over there, which is pretty cool.